Thank you Again, again, again Target For sponsoring This Video Good morning, welcome to the vlog Hello I'm excited to hang with you today. I'm making my coffee. I got my doggy, and I'm looking flossy. Thank you for that. Lou, come here. You want me to carry her? Uh, I actually want to see if I still can do it. Oh, big girl. I think in like a month's time, I won't be able to. Uh, I feel maybe I'll just squat with her. Yeah. The weight is distributed pretty evenly too. That I feel like the gains would be incredible. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Henny's doing no coffee this. Month. Wait, if you are doing no coffee this month, why did you surprise me with Starbucks like two days ago? Why'd you go to Starbucks? To, to get you coffee. You didn't sneak one on the way over? No, I, I was drinking water. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, sure. Anyways, he's been doing no coffee this month. I think he wants to just try it out and see if there's any effect on him. It looks so miserable from the outside. I'm like, I'm gonna leave that to you, but over here, we're not gonna try that. There's literally, no need, not for me at least, but kudos to him. I'm about to run out of this, which is really sad, but making the coffee this way, for some reason has been oddly therapeutic. It's like a whole long process in the morning and I kind of live for it. It makes me feel alive. And the process makes me slow down before I have my coffee because I think what was happening is before I would wake up and instantly drink my iced coffee and then just be wired for a little. So now this slows me down. You know what I mean? Have you ever been to those uh, pour over coffee shops and they make it a point to have a long conversation with you while they're making the coffee so that there's not an awkward pause in the moment? I guess we're about to do that. Um, so I have a new, I guess it's not a New Year's resolution because I'm a little late on it, but I have a new goal that I'm about to change and I will never be the same again. And I feel like it's gonna really be beneficial to my life. So. I have decided, and this is inspired from a TikTok that I saw about this, I have been inspired to not change my voice when I talk on the phone based on the energy that they hit me with. For example, yesterday I called this tanning spot and she's like, hi, thank you for calling. And I was like, oh, you know, I felt a little pressured to be like, oh, thank you, yeah, hi, I would love to come in. And it's all so fake and fraudulent. And I feel like I can do better. And I feel like it's such a power move to just speak as myself, regardless of what energy I'm getting hit with on the call. So yeah, that's my new thing. I don't care if you are rude to me on the phone. I don't care if you're, hi, how are you? Like, I'm just not gonna match it. I'm just gonna be me. It's a power move. Honestly, you're the one that told me to do this. What are your thoughts on this situation? Yeah, but I also saw it on a TikTok. <laughs> well, whatever. I didn't say you created the movement. But yeah, she was like next to me and she was like, it was like sitting next to a different person. And I was like, hey! It was so high pitched. I was like, yo, you don't you don't talk like that. Like, what, you, what voice is this? That was so shady. <sighs> but anyways, I'm done with that. I literally set a reminder on my phone last night and was like, remind me to have coffee outside because the weather has been so nice in Arizona. And I feel like I'm not like using the outside to have a little coffee or whatever. Leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. Fetch. Hi, baby. <laughs> I came here to talk to you about how well I folded my bed and we have a visitor. She loves to do this. Sometimes I'll literally just wake up from a nap and then I'll just lock eyes with her. And I'm like, hello, yes, may I help you? Do you have anything to say, Lua? Like, look at her. <laughs> Anyways, this year I have been making it a point to really try to give myself like my self-care moments where I can. So I've been trying to get eight to nine hours of sleep Again, where I can, I've been doing a pretty good job of getting it almost every night and it's been making a huge difference on just how I feel overall and I feel more productive and I feel more invested in my well-being. I've also been trying to make it a point to make my bed every morning. I just want to be that person that wakes up and makes their bed. Like, nothing gives me more... I have my whole entire life together vibes than that. So, I've been trying. I just made this. 
She's looking cute. This is my bedding, by the way. This is from Casa Luna. It's sold at Target. Best bedding ever. Like, the quality is so dependable and so reliable. Like, I literally am obsessed with the quality. It's, like, super soft, so easy to machine wash, which is perfect for a person like myself. And it's breathable. It's lightweight. It's so comfy. And, like, these materials literally remind me of, like, my favorite sweater. I literally get compliments nonstop in my videos about my bedding, and I recommend it to all of my friends and all of my family. I'm like, guys, you need Casa Luna. So I'm gonna recommend it to you guys, too. You can get it at Target, and I... I'm obsessed. Like truly such good quality. So beautiful and so easy to handle. So this is my guest bedroom. I Casa Luna'd it out also. I'm just very obsessed, super into it. I want whenever a guest does come for them to feel just like a really good night's sleep. They also make these amazing room sprays, which I'm obsessed with. So I try to leave a cute little detail and I'll put the little room spray, the face mask from them. And I trust that whenever somebody does stay here, they will be cozy, girl. Tired. You're tired? No. Hold this camera, man. Let me find. Let me find us something to do. What if we go take pictures somewhere? We could. I, let, let I'd have to get all ready. You're not ready. Let me try to go find a park. Like a cool little golden sunset park. What do you think? Mm-hmm. I have something planned. I have something planned. I'm excited to go do something. <laughs> Lou's excited too. She's jumping around all crazy. Okay, I found a couple cool parks around. There's one 20 minutes away that has apparently like super cool views. And we're gonna get the sunset. We can hang out there, take some fun pictures, talk, hold hands, walk around. I'm just excited to get outside. It's literally, it's the perfect day outside today. It's the perfect day. It's like 70 degrees. We always tell each other that we're gonna go to a park and bring, wait, are we bringing Lola? No. <laughs> I wanna hang out me and you. We wanna take pictures. Did I just hear you take a sip of that? No, I did not take a sip, I swear. I swear, I just heard you like gulp it. No, 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 I have it on camera. <laughs> You weren't shooting it at yourself, you were pointing it at the coffee cup. I was pointing it at the coffee cup. Oh, How would I have taken- one continuous shot with no cuts or stops? Zero cuts. You can check back. Okay. I didn't take a sip, I swear. I could have sworn I heard I saw you. No, 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 no. But it did look delicious. Mmm. Made you iced coffee, baby. Mmm. It's the best iced coffee I've ever- Put your freaking eyelashes on, we're gonna lose the sun. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I really need your help picking an outfit. I really need something oh, without a logo. Oh, Lord. Let's go. We don't have time for this, baby. The sun's gonna leave. You're putting pressure on me. Oh, no. Not, not what you do on your stories on the vlog. Is this all you need to do? I need to put my eyelashes on, and I need to get an outfit. That's it. Okay, cool. Boom. Step one, eyelashes. <laughs> I hate this pressure. It is a beautiful day. Isn't it? Yep. <laughs> You're giving me pressure by doing I'm just it. I'm just waiting for you. There's yeah, but... <laughs> if we go there and there's no sun, babe... I know! We're gonna get in the same fight that we got in the other day. <sighs> okay, let's start thinking outfits. What do you want to wear? Like, nice little crop top, I'm thinking. With cool jeans? Oh, yeah. What about those purple jeans? The driver's license. <laughs> so then this is where... Wow, perfect. Yeah, but this is where the tea comes in, so you see the that. The eyeliner? Yeah, because there's a random gap if you don't do it. I've watched the vlogs, baby. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Woo! Step one, out of the way, let's go. Step two. I got this for you. Let's go. Wait. If you wanna be my man, you understand. I can't be tight. I think this might be cute. I don't know. Oh, this, I also got this. Cute? What's this. Oh, that's cute. Let me just let me try it on. Let's do that, yeah. I really never know how I feel about myself in dresses of this length. First of all, they remind me of those movies. Remember when they would depict the models on a super hard catwalk and their legs would always be like this and they would trip? That's the first thing. And the second thing is, I don't know, <laughs> I just feel weird in them. Like, I just feel like they're not me, but they're cute. So I'm like, let's give it a go. But the back of it's actually really cute because it has this like detail. Now, this sweater is the one to buckle my shoe because uh, in my picture, I'll be in a cute little dress, but in real life, I'm gonna be warm. Uh-uh. I'm not about to go to the park uh, and freeze. Not today. What the hell is this? I look like a goof. Well, because I want to wear the dress. Ugh, I don't know. You didn't help me at all. You just said the dress was cute and then I need sneakers, right? Because we're going to a park. I don't know. Now I feel stupid. No, 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 no. no I didn't mean like that. No, wait. I'm going to put different shoes. Ready to have a fun time. Yeah. 
You're in a bad mood. I'm not. We're just going to the park. I don't know what you want me to say or do. Like This is a fun Saturday. Yes. I don't know what you want to you. I'm a little tired. So apparent. Whoa, the lighting here is beautiful. What? Like, what? This is how you get the good lighting in the car. The lighting back there, I was like, I don't even want to film. Like, this looks like trash. Hello, cinematic masterpiece lighting. What the? <laughs> Not me posing for a profile pic. Ooh, the sunset is about to come. Arizona Loki has the prettiest sunsets I've ever seen in my entire life. I don't know if it's because there's not that much pollution here or if because we're in the desert. I really don't know why, but it's lapsed. Wow, this is beautiful, no? Yeah, this is stunning. Wait. Oh. Oh my. God. So I was surprised with the most beautiful, sweetest, cutest date I think he's ever taken me on. The charcuterie board, give it up for the charcuterie board. This was so cute and he popped that bubbly for me. Pop that bubbly. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I feel like we've been celebrating my birthday for a week and a half and that's probably because it's been a week and a half, which is kind of embarrassing. Why are we celebrating my birthday for so long? I feel awkward now. Thank you, I love you. I don't know why I was in such a down mood. Like, I truly don't know what got into me. So when he was insisting that we go to the park, I'm like, I mean, okay, like, sure. But when we got there and I saw this, mimosas, the beautiful setup, the beautiful park, we were the only ones there. And just this view, this scenery, I... <laughs> It was incredible. I think this is honestly the best date he's ever taken me on and it's gonna be a little bit hard to top this one. And just being there, just us two, felt so romantic. And this just felt like a scene out of a movie, literally. So it's gonna be hard to top this one. I guess all you need to make a girl happy is cheese and a view. Um, so I'm looking at the sunset. First of all, that was amazing. Second of all, I'm looking at the sunset and then Henny's like, oh, you should vlog this. I'm like, what, is there a part two to this? Cause now I'm scared. So I was wondering why he was like, vlog, vlog, vlog so much. He was being so intense about it. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna vlog, nothing's happening. But the sunset is gorgeous. Look at that. Okay, it looks so much better in person. <laughs> <laughs> it really does. Like, it's why is that the most underwhelming thing I've ever seen? I decided to end my night with a little bubble bath action. I never do this, and I want to start making it a point to do it more because it's so relaxing. I have my phone charging. I have a little phone stand. I think I'm going to start a new episode of this Netflix show that everybody's talking about. I can't think about it off the top of my head. Brighter tin, I don't know. You know what I'm talking about. But I have some bath bombs. These are both from Target. Um, Oh, this one's a black amber bath fizzer with a surprise inside, and this one is rainbow. I think I want to do the black because that sounds incredibly enticing. Anyways, if I don't see you anymore, although I probably will include some clips of tonight. Anyways, if I don't see you, love you. Thank you for hanging out with me today. I had a really good time. And yeah, goodbye. Thank you, Target, for sponsoring this video.